Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 15th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. Amazing images here brought to you by Ghost 16 and Gong. Mixed with Daily Events Worldwide, some pretty bright and large sunspot regions turning into view, but no major solar flares the past 24 hours. It's been pretty quiet eerily quiet considering solar cycle 25 already amazing images here of the incoming sunspot regions looking at 304 angstroms this is where we can see some pretty large plasma prominence dancing on the surface of the sun both bottom right bottom left and equatorial regions And looking at 171 angstroms, large Earth-facing coronal hole right now. Expect our solar winds to be punching our planet at upwards of 600 kilometers per second over the next 24 hours. It is incoming. And we did just recently have a pretty bright flash in the northern region of the sun. We'll get a closer look at that. But amazing images here today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're enjoying all these images, images and information shared... Don't forget to give a thumbs up and welcome all new followers. A lot of new followers overnight. Thank you so much for being a part of this family and channel. Having a look here, another light. And that is the most recent solar flare. It looks like to be about a C-class, but earth facing. Current sunspot regions, there are six earth facing Two of them are primed that are coming in ready to go during a quiet time on our sun, expecting those two to put on a show this next week. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report right now except for the solar winds, which are coming in right now at 495 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing here, minor C-class flare action. Solar proton flux is low and geomagnetic. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP 3.5 throughout the day today. And that is ahead of all of that yellow and red, which is the coronal hole wind stream set to affect our planet tonight and into tomorrow. Solar winds, as I said, will be punching our planet upwards of 600 kilometers per second, almost at 500 right now. ISPWA space prediction spiral showing their most recent CME taking off. That was the same one from yesterday, so no new CMEs to report. And that comet that went across the Lasco screen, that was Atlas, apparently. Strange, but that thing wasn't supposed to come around for another 140,000 years or something like that. Having a look here at our magnetosphere showing our solar winds and the pressure on the right-hand side. Left-hand side is the wind speeds. Get into those dark reds. It's when we're in the 600s. And those, looking at Lasco 3, this is where we saw imagery of a comet heading across the screen, coming in on the 11th of January and making a transit. Apparently, that was Atlas. It kind of looks like Atlas. I mean, Atlas went by our planet, close approach, I do believe three months ago or so. Apparently, the news is that this is Atlas again. I don't get it. But anywho, that was our sun for the past 24 hours. Let's get to earthquakes. As we've got some pretty deep earthquakes here happening in the Fiji region. 4.7 earthquake, 483 kilometer depth. Not very deep, but still deep for the region. 5.2 there, Kermadec Trench. South Sandwich Islands with a 5.1 earthquake. Largest last 48 hours is this 5.7 Mid-Atlantic Ridge from yesterday. Africa still going, 4.3 there. Metiara, Ethiopia. Indian Plate active today. Some deep ones, Afghanistan, 4.4 there. Tibet. And across the Philippines plate, ringing fives and fours right up into Kamchatka. 
and that is building between Japan and Kamchatka, Kuril Islands, multiple volcanoes through the region. 4.0 magnitude earthquake here, Port Alexander, Alaska, north of the Juan de Fuca Plate. 2.8 Virginia. USGS reporting just under 180 earthquakes past 24 hours, so earthquakes are quiet too. Way too quiet. Caribbean Plate, South America. Heads up, my friends, big earthquake coming. We've seen pretty large volcanic events already this year, and as well earthquakes. And larger shallower earthquakes follow deep ones. The deep one today, northern Indonesia. Largest earthquake this week, 6.8. Japan. This is a look at the last of seven days for shakers and movers across the planet. As it seems that Africa is bursting at the seams. Getting ready, getting ready to rip away or split open or maybe create one of the largest mud volcanic events of our time heads up stay safe hashtag no fear here just aware and prepared because right now we have 72 active and erupting volcanoes across the world this is a look at our so2 forecast showing showing some deep plumes coming out of mexico and as well the wildfires through california Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii, and as well Kamchatka. Lots of SO2 coming out of southern China as well. That's going to be fueling across the Pacific. I showed that in last night's video, satellite imagery. Here it is here, that big plume. And there's a low getting ready to grind right over that and scoot it out into the North Pacific. So yeah, air quality, not the greatest right now around the world. Active volcanoes. Even through the Caribbean, lots of pressure or sulfur dioxide emissions being released there. Now let's have a look at world weather. We've got a strong system grinding through the Atlantic this week. Watch for those to punch into England, long range. But then Alberta Clipper moves in and the polar vortex for most of North America and the Northern Hemisphere for that matter. Let's have a look at the temperature forecast for the next few days. As that polar vortex, all those purples start to fuel down by the weekend. We're going to be seeing temperatures in the minus 30s to minus 40s. And that's without the wind chill. This is a Siberian polar vortex that has swung around the planet. Amazing times to be alive, my friends and family. Please make sure your loved ones are staying warm and are ready for a deep freeze that is headed towards Canada and most of the United States as well. Watch for these cold temperatures to dip down as far south as New Orleans. This is forecast models for the next eight days, right up until the 23rd. Deep freeze is on its way for all of North America. And this is our culprit. This is why the deep freeze is coming. Polar vortex is very strong and dominant and split. Upper level winds are coming in at 394 kilometers per hour, straight from Siberia, funneling down into North America. You can see those winds. It's about to get really, really cold, folks. Winter 2025, I've been talking about it. Even the old Farmer's Almanac was saying, long, cold winter. We had a pretty good start. Look at it now. We're about to get into a deep, deep freeze. Polar vortex sending minus 30 to minus 40 degrees Celsius temperatures towards North America. Every so often, I like to show the polar vortex Look at the polar vortex in the southern hemisphere. It's summertime down there. That's what our northern hemisphere looks like during our summer. Strong winds across the equatorial regions. But the equatorial winds, they seem to be more northern latitude. 
than normal. Watch for very windy days all across Europe and Russia. And watch for all of that nasty sulfur dioxide and air particulates coming out of China to get sucked right up into that polar vortex and scoot around the North Pole. Heading right towards us. Much love, everybody. We got, we're got we going through some amazing times together, and I, sometimes I can't believe what I hear each day when it comes to politics, when it comes to everything. Prayers for humanity. We're going through so much together, and thank you for being a part of this channel. 85,000 followers strong and seven years broadcasting. I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life here on this channel. Do crew for life. Thanks for being a part of this. Amazing. Truly great. Thanks for watching. Stay aware, prepared. Stay young and have fun.